Hi everyone, this is Tan and today I'm going to show you how to use Slack. So let's open up Slack. I have downloaded the Windows version of Slack. When you open up Slack, this is what you see. This is the workspace you have. So the first thing I want to introduce you is at the top of the sidebar, you can view your profile here. Click on view profile and do add a profile picture here so that we know who you are. You can also edit your profile. Go to the display name section. If you're a learner, add a suffix of learner. Once you're done with it, hit the save change button. Right, you can see the name is changed here. Next, I'm going to introduce you to channels. We have this private channel with a lock sign and we have the hashtag, hash sign is a public channel. So let's check first the announcement channel. This is a read only channel, means that you cannot reply here. And do check out this channel because the team will post all related announcement related to the bootcamp here time by time. Next, if you are absolute beginners, do join the absolute beginners channel. If you are beginners, do join the beginners channels. If you are intermediate to advanced level, you can join the intermediate and advanced channel. We do have a general channel here so that this group is used for general posts. You can get some general information about the bootcamp at this channel. We have a help channel as well. You can post all your doubt, all your question, and ask for assistance here. We do have a success story channel so that you can post all your accomplishments here to motivate others and they can learn from you as well. So next, I'm going to show you how do you post a message inside a channel or to someone. To write a message, you can simply write this as a message. What if you want to get a new line? You can press the shift and enter button on your keyboard and you can get a new line. The best thing about Slack is you can embed some code inside your lines. I, let's see how to use, you can press this code function, how to use print and you can write, press the right arrow key to get out of the code function. This is how you embed a code inside your line. Next, if you want to add multiple lines of code, you can press on this code block. For example, I'll give you some example. X is equal to 2 and print X. And to get out of the code block, you can press on the down arrow key. Now you're out of you're out of the code block. You're out of the code block. And you simply hit enter button to send the message. And we want to keep our workspace clean and light. So if you want to add some pictures or photos, I suggest you to use this light shot. Just go to Google, search for light shot, and the first one it is. Download it, choose it, download for Windows or download for Mac. And since I already download this, I will skip this step. Once you have downloaded this light shot, if you want to Take a screenshot, you can simply hit on the print screen button on your keyboard and you will select the area that you want to screenshot and click on this upload button and you can see here uploading image. Once you are done with uploading, click on the copy and it will copy the link. Go back to the select. You can paste this link here and hit enter and wait for a while. You can see the screenshot is here. By using this method, it will keep your workspace clean and light so that we are we don't burden the Slack channel. You can also approach a coach personally if you don't want to ask something in the channels by clicking here, direct message. You can open a direct message, search for coach, and you can see there are a lot of coach available. So you can approach any of the coach, go, and now you can ask some question to the coach. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope this can help you to use Slack to its fullest and happy learning.